up where we left off You and I had lots of love just to top it off We can wind it down for days, never let it stop I just want your everything, baby Maybe later we can dance, never let it go Listen to our favorite songs on the radio to this feeling, oh, I just want your everything, baby I'll be deep under your influence tonight Ooh, keep it coming, babe, I don't mind another round Drinking from your bottle, baby so much later than when I started vlogging but that's because this morning was a bit hectic I've been working since I woke up and I woke up quite early number one because of load shedding do I need to wipe my thing give me a second let's clean it it's never a bad idea wait difference no anyway so i'm doing this intro to this vlog much earlier than much later my mom is calling yo mama mm. <laughs> yes i'm noticing every single time i decide to work and create content i end up being late i've got a viewing in the next 15 minutes it takes me 10 minutes to drive there and if you know me you know uguti i like arriving earlier so that i can ventilate the space as well as just calm down you know bring myself back to myself um before the before the client arrives mind you, my mind is all over the place like i'm thinking oh, what do i have everything i'm panicking oh, what i might be late or whatever but i even have a, my watch in my pocket because <laughs> i'm thinking so if i can figure more doing but i really hate arriving there client my figure i'm hoping one i'm planning is a bit late but yeah the viewing that i have is at a place that i did film before i will link um the video somewhere on the on the description box or like uh i don't know what you call them but those links that just appear on top so i'll do that um but yeah i'm not gonna vlog that because number one i need to just get there i'm probably gonna be there like three minutes before the actual time clients are never really on time some clients are early but hardly ever so i don't want to bank on the fact that the client might be late so i really need to go um yeah i wanted to go past uh e mcdonald's for iced coffee but i don't think i have that luxury so i'll just drive straight um it's not that far you know and run about this time traffic is not bad at all so i'm not gonna be late i'm just gonna be on time and i hate being on time i'd rather be early so yeah i really do feel like millingham but i'll probably get my coffee on my way back because on my way to is no longer an option so yeah let's go i feel like this wig man it needs to give me better like i'm wearing this band thing because it's not customized so it looks like <laughs> so really it's a full frontal i need it to be customized so that it can sit the wing i want to go buy it i really ever know where to put my bag because but if you put it on the floor you'll be broke if you put it 
on the seat. They'll smash and grab it, but there's no smash and grab in this area. Hey. I need something for my leg. Oh, there you go. But I hate this one. Ah! Gone. Why did that have to happen? The last time I drove here, I was driving on reserve because I'm selling petrol. I decided to be. This guy, Marie, Lindy driver. What are you doing? I think there's a fucking car. Hey. I know. Well, mama to women drivers are horrible. We're like, no, you guys are not funny. You guys are sexist. Inve, nzan. How much will I share my house in the middle of the road? There's literally nowhere else to go. There's oncoming traffic. Send in. See, I'm going to share my house. We saw that you stopped even before you told us. Who's he sending? Send in. See me now. Until you decide to go to now, it's time for you to leave. Hey, hey, hey. Sometimes I'm at decision in ways I. That annoyed me. That annoyed me so much. I think it's because I'm hungry. But anyway, so the viewing went well. I feel like that's what I always say. It went well. When I say it went well, I don't. I'm not. I don't mean Wooty. Yeah, definitely there. by I mean that you know when you work in a band you, know, you tend to come across a lot of different personalities and you know different levels or forms of respect or disrespect and yeah sometimes it does get you down it does weigh on you a lot so when I say it went well I mean like I met um, good people Abantu Abba friendly or Abantu Abba Ntinina like decent people, respectful people because sometimes you come across people and you're like you know they just they literally push you into a very deep dark sinkhole that will depress you and you need to work yourself out of oh, you need to work yourself out of I think I just scratched you there Women try to together. Um, you need to get yourself out of that thing called and I think it's very important. I mention this all the time with people who want to get into real estate and then they get into real estate and then they're like, yo, I'm so depressed. Like, yo, I'm so stressed. This and this happened, you know? And I always preach Ubuti. Make sure Ubuti you create an environment, whether it be with like your colleagues or family or your kids or whatever lifts your spirit whatever lifts your spirit that should get you out of those days where you might need some cheering up you know because it does get hectic sometimes like it does get toxic and hectic people are mean and who's gay what time do bands imagine sometimes so yeah you just meet people and they just mess up your entire week or even month sometimes so i think it's very important for you to figure out a way why are you gonna why am i going to I think it's very important for you to figure out a way of getting yourself out of that funk because it is going to happen at some point. I don't care how friendly or professional you are or how well you're handling your business, but you are going to come across people that. Skoko Mara, what are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, um, some people drink wine and just sleep. On Netflix and chill just to kind of get through it some people smoke <laughs> I have a friend who smokes and then some people just those the third some people some people like me just want to just chill and do nothing and just sit with 
my kids you know just talk to my kids have them have have them make me realize booty life is not that serious you know you'll be fine why is telesa and elena isn't that a tuesday okay so yeah for me it's my kids that kind of get me out of the funk because You know, you talk to them and you realize it, your problems are not that deep. Ah, it's a scratch mode. Can you stay on the line? I don't think you can. And so, you know what? They can see. You can see I'm struggling, but they won't help me. Mara mama puma. Uzo baba na sebati sister. Okay, we go. Malin. Why is it so difficult to get Anna? Why? Because it's just another freaking spot. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, I feel like once you get that in order, then you should be fine. But you are going to experience those moments so hence when i say Uguti, it went well i mean i made people that didn't push me into a sinkhole where i felt like is this even worth it like do i even want to continue with this you know so yeah that's what i mean when i say it went well people don't like the same thing um sometimes they want more options <sighs> so yeah man so if you don't know please be like the person that respects other people so as a, a client of a real estate agent please be the person the type of person that respects other people and the type of person that does not don't 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 show us red flags i'm at a point where i'm filtering my clients like i'm not just taking on any client just for the sake of working and being busy but i am taking on clients because i see Uguti working with you um is going to be a positive thing and you are an accountable person and everything will have a paper trail we'll write down everything so that i need more light yeah um as humbly guys you know just remember Uguti, what did you say and stuff because a lot of times we find ourselves in situations where you only had a verbal agreement and you find yourself with you only had a verbal agreement and oh <sighs> okay you find yourself with you only had a, a verbal i'm distracted i don't like doing this it's like when people are walking around i don't i don't have the guts yet so yeah you find yourself with you had a verbal agreement and then the person and then now you are like a bad agent for you know for trying not necessarily even holding them accountable but like just for telling them Uti, listen this is what you said because it was rebelled there's no there was no paper trail so um i think it's great to work with people who are accountable who are i think i'll do a, a separate video of like the red flags of clients when you're vetting clients people vet real estate agents so i think real estate agents need to also vet clients because i was once in a situation where Yo, that was the most toxic situation ever like every single time i had to deal with that family i had to come home and literally just i couldn't continue you know if i met them at like 12 i'd get home at like half past one to two and i couldn't even focus anymore moving forward on that day like i would literally have to like just take a bath eat watch tv and just sit like i would be numb and not be able to focus or do anything further because of how and you know what now i should have taken that red flag it's just that i had a client that really really wanted that house the issue was that um it was listed about it was listed it was listed by about um eight real estate agents you know and that's another red flag like eight real estate agents for what you know so um it was listed by eight agents and it had been on the market for the past two years so i called about three of the estate agents um to ask if we could like you know view under them because they already listed it i don't normally go for listings that are already oversaturated so all three of the agents that i called were like 
please call the next agent that listed it like they literally didn't want anything to do with that house so yeah that should have been my first sign but i had a client that really wanted that house so i'm like let's just go the extra mile we'll see you which is the lab betrayal every single conversation even if it seems insignificant it can come back to you um you know and kind of bite you in the a so it's very important but anyway we'll talk about that another time i'm at the mall now i want to go get some stuff and then head back home i'm actually pretty hungry so yeah i want to go back home and eat this is not going to be it's not going to take me too long i hope so let's go inside the mall and get my stuff and then KBC. see ending we're going to be working I've got quite a bit of work to do today, so let's go. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for some keeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. You throw it out, you stop caring about it. Don't let your head get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. overnight oats recipe that i saw on the internet and apparently in order for you to have it you need to make it the night before or at least eight hours before you eat it so i want to quickly go back to youtube and search for recipes because i remember vividly how it's made but i don't remember in detail so yeah if this works for me it's going to be a complete game changer if you love healthy breakfast ideas but don't want to do a whole lot of work in the morning Yep. Overnight oats were made for you. All you've got to do is stir a few ingredients together in a jar, place it in the fridge, and enjoy it the next morning. In terms of the best container for overnight oats, I personally prefer to use a 16 ounce mason jar with a screw lid. This jar is large enough to stir everything together without it overflowing, and the lid is no fuss. That's rolled oats, your milk of choice, chia seeds, yogurt, and maple syrup. Yogurt. To make an individual batch of overnight oats, then give that a stir and mix it all together. And you can see why I now recommend a 16 ounce jar because it gives you plenty of room. Sometimes you fall Sometimes you fall 